It's a vacation nightmare. A passenger fell 15 stories off a cruise ship balcony into the pitch black sea. Witnesses say she was taking a selfie on board the Norwegian Epic during rough seas when she plunged over. Fellow passengers could hear the 53-year-old woman screaming. There goes the lifeboat. They're going out to look. It just didn't seem like it was going to be possible to find that person or even find them alive. The ship came to a halt and a rescue boat was sent out. By some miracle, she was found alive. She'd been in the waters off the Bahamas for over an hour. The ship's captain made the announcement. We found the person in the water and uh, she was picked up and uh, she's now in the hospital, so everything is good there. It was a simultaneous cheer just all around that people were relieved that she was found. Sarah Kirby is one of the few people in the world who knows what it's like to fall off a cruise ship and live to tell about it. In 2012, she slipped over her stateroom balcony. I felt hopeless, helpless and hopeless. It's pitch black out there. There's no land, there's no lights. Infrared cameras captured her fall. She actually ricocheted off a lifeboat before hitting the choppy waters off the coast of Jamaica. Sarah was badly battered, but somehow managed to tread water for 90 minutes before she was rescued. I kept praying, praying to God, please don't let me die out here. Please don't let something eat me like a shark. Our Megan Alexander found out how terrifying being alone in the middle of the ocean can be. I have a little bit of light coming from our camera, but Sarah had nothing. Turn off the light. This is what she was dealing with. Pitch black for two hours. The only way she could be spotted in the dark is with infrared binoculars. Here's with and then without them. There is no way she would be found without the technology. Some ships are now equipped with infrared alarms that sense when a passenger goes overboard. There goes the lifeboat. Norwegian Cruise Lines issued a statement saying they were thankful their team reacted so quickly and was able to rescue the woman from the water.